Ah, uh, welcome, welcome, welcome all to some more Binding of Isaac, Wrath of the Lamb. You can probably already guess that uh, this video is probably a little bit short and is starting in a completely strange area. Well, I figured I'd play some Binding of Isaac just by myself and things just went crazy today. I got Skeleton Key in the first item room. Then I got Forever Alone, which I didn't really care about. Then I got Mutant Spider, Guppy's Tail, Guppy's Head, and Guppy's Paw, all while using rerolls for only one heart in the Devil Room, so it became a quad shot Guppy's Head. Then I get uh, Odd Mushroom and Forget Me Now, so I got to repeat a floor. Then I got more HP ups, Lump of Coal, Jesus Juice, Spirit of the Night. All while having even the opportunity to pick up Mom's Knife, Brimstone, and Epic Fetus. All in this one godly run. But I figured since I have the Polaroid on, and this, this uh, casual run became one of the most overpowered ones I can even think of, I figured I'd record the last bit of it, <clears throat> just for YouTube since I don't think I'll ever have an overpowered run much like this. <laughs> wow. So half the screen is crappy, half the screen is situational. Oh, and I had been using the pill bottle, and I've been getting a lot of tears up. Pills. And best friend. I also managed to get the compass for once. So let's actually try to beat the chest. Two Monstro 2s in the same exact room. This is one of the easiest rooms I can think of. I don't think Rage is going to be too useful. Oh, wait, right. Rage will be useful here. So, obviously, my best friend acts kind of like a bomb. You know what? You guys can play with that. There we go. My best friend Axe has a bomb that they... that the enemies actually aggro on to. So it's actually pretty cool. If you can make it work. My god, I had acquired so many spirit hearts and they're already all gone. Oh, single Gertie Jr. That... that's pretty easy. That... that's just weird. Well then again, this is a really fat boss. I don't think you could ever fit two in the same room. Two super sloths, good lord. Oh my god. Super sloth doesn't even have like a change sprite, it's just a bigger sprite. That's strange, usually the whole guppy... guppy attribute used to like kick in a little bit more. Really? I had to run into a dead end? Oh, that's right. You don't get to actually bomb out of the doors in this place. You're stuck down here. How about I use this? This might be too... Yeah, that, that was a terrible idea. All it did was actually corner me. Didn't do all too much against them. As you can see, even with this overpowered run this this floor is incredibly difficult Bugasin, what do you got for me that's not too great guppy's tail it's kicking in a little bit i'm wondering if all golden chests down here just turn into items kind of a shame that all of these kind of suck ah uh, there we go oh god bloat do not jump up here. Do not jump up here. No. Bloat. You know I do not like you. I was right, golden chests do turn into... into items down here. Which is actually pretty cool. That means that Guppy's tail is like one of the overpowered things you could possibly have down here. Because it'll actually give you more than, uh... More than an original four chests that you usually get. Did my quality actually dumb down for a moment? It did. Hold up. No. 
Go back to medium. I don't know why I thought that was a good thing to do. Can it? Can it eat that? I don't think I want to know what's in the secret room down here. I've never seen it before. I was too busy running for my life to ever look in one. Whoa. The sack of pennies actually gave me something good. Ooh, I can skip a room. I think. Yes, I can. Oh, God. Lust plus wrath plus... Ugh. Greed. And of course, Greed is the only dangerous one. Wrath is actually pretty useless without his uh, custom room. Because he can't really kick bombs since... The room is way too open for him to really... Do his job correctly. Ooh, I am not feeling too great about this run. I was feeling pretty awesome until I lost all my spirit hearts. Cause I don't, I don't, I don't have that many regular hearts. And I didn't pick up nine lives like I wanted to earlier on. I had the chance to. I had the chance to pick up four out of five Guppy items. The fifth one is uh, Guppy's hairball. And what do you do? Two of clubs, double bombs. Uh, that 99 bombs should be 99 keys. So the boss up here is Blue Baby. I actually like to kill you. Do as much damage as possible while that darn thing is still active. Because this guy shoots off more bullets than Isaac does. And he has strange homing bullets because some of them are small. They're not big like the originals. I don't like this. I really do not. I've never fought... Blue baby without any sort of like tear effect. I completely forgot that this bastard actually causes uh, flies to spawn too. Well, jokes on you, because I cause flies to spawn just by touching you. No, you're not that bad. You're actually a little bit easier than Isaac. So I unlocked Dad's key just because I killed. Hit. Oh, you unlock Dad's key because you killed Blue Baby, which is kind of said to be... People think that question mark, question mark, question mark is actually Isaac's dad, but everyone just calls him Blue Baby. And I unlocked Isaac's head, which is a trinket because I beat the chest with Isaac. And here's the new ending. It's got a good tune. Who's taking these pictures? I'm honestly concerned. Who is taking pictures of this kid? Is there just a photographer just following my following me around in my life? And that's the end of the game. Strangely enough, that ending does not, like, make any sense whatsoever. The whole, like, plot behind the Binding of Isaac is such a mystery. Oi. So I gotta say, that went well, despite the fact that I was constantly, constantly in peril. I gotta say, we're coming close to that whole Platinum God achievement. I'm just missing one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen items. Wow. Not to mention, some of these actually need to be shown on camera, such as Mom's knife. I've gotten that off camera, but I couldn't do it on camera. And let's see what else is here. Everything else, I think, has been on camera. It's amazing how many items are actually in the game. That's weird. I completely forgot about the nail. Mom's bra. I still need to get pinking shears. I don't know where that one is. 
Oh, and I need to get Mom's contact. Those are two items I still don't have. Little geesh. Money equals power. That needs to be shown on camera, too. So only 5 HP ups in the game? Naturally. Raw liver. I... This doesn't have a name. What is it? I'll never know. It's scaring me that it doesn't have a name. Wow. Oh, I think Sad Onion needs to be on camera as well. Same with Spoonbender. Max's head. I think my reflection, too. It's actually quite a few of these that I've gotten off camera, but not on. But with that, I will bid you all adieu. Stay tuned for the next part where... I don't know, I guess I'll just hit the random key and try to beat the chest with that character. With that, I bid you all adieu.